We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. We are in Da Nang, Vietnam. I'm Cindy. And I'm Eddie. And we're going to show you why we love this town. As seen in our previous video, we have just arrived by train from Saigon. On the way to the hotel, we stopped to grab a coffee because we can't check in until two o'clock. One of the things that we have to do in Vietnam is have SIM cards so that it's easy to get a hold of each other. And get or around. We use Google Maps, Google Translate, social media, all the things while we're here. We have to have some sort of cell phone service here in Vietnam. What we did is we've looked a bunch of different places. We just went down the road here and found this lady and it was super easy. It cost us 130 Vietnamese dong each. Yeah, $5.50. $5 USD per phone. So let's show you the front of this so you know where to go. This is in Da Nang. We're super happy we're here. On our way to the hotel, we're walking by something called the Dragon Bridge, and that is that yellow bridge behind us. There's the dragon's head, and this is his body. What a cool bridge, right? To answer any questions you might have, Yes, it does breathe fire. And it lights up at night. And it it's lights really up. It's really cool. Yeah, it's an We're amazing bridge. I'm going to try and show that to you later on. Make sure you stay tuned for that. But first, we're going to show you all of Da Nang. Besides the fact that we enjoy walking, this is really a good area to walk around in. It's not just us that enjoys walking around. You'll see a lot of the locals actually walk along this path, especially at night. The Dragon Bridge is really great. If you want to cross over this busy bridge, they have a tunnel that runs underneath it, which is also handicap accessible. So you don't have to actually cross the road here, which is a busy intersection. To get across the bridge, you simply take the walkway. Up close, you can see how big that dragon actually is. So that is the head of the dragon. And right there, that is the parking spot. That will be completely full before the dragon spits fire tonight. That is the head of the dragon. You can see where the flames come out. You zoom in a little bit. Do you notice the eyes? There's a common theme running around here. After the dragon bridge, right over here. This is the famous night market of the Nong. We're gonna try and get here tonight too so you can have an opportunity to see that as well. Like I said, there's a common theme. Very spacious king size bed. They gave us a corner room, so we're gonna have two amazing views. Let's take a look at them now. Wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the mountains in the background. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Nice sink. Oh, there's a tub. Yes. We have a telephone in here. Our closet space, which is massive, and we have an extra pillow and blanket. We went to bed early so we could wake up refreshed and go down to the third floor to enjoy a really delicious complimentary breakfast provided by the hotel. It includes a selection of local favorites and delicacies, as well as tea and Vietnamese coffee, which Cindy and I both look forward to. Coffee is delicious, food is on point, and it's definitely really well put together. So we're definitely enjoying our complimentary breakfast every day. At the Sun Phoenix, there's a couple of things that are pretty unique. So we're gonna show you that now. This is gonna be the coffee bar and rooftop pool area. The pool is beautiful and you really can't beat that view. gym, massage parlor, pool with a coffee bar. A lot of the stuff is available upon request, so you need to schedule the massage, you need to schedule the meeting room. However, since it's all readily available and easy to access, it's right here. And proximity to the beach makes this a really great destination. We have with us the proprietor of the Sea Phoenix. Her name is actually Phoenix, so the hotel is named after her. And we wanted to say thank you so much. We love it here. The Sea Phoenix is a beautiful hotel, really good location, and the 
price is amazing. And we think it's the best hotel in Denang. You need to come here and stay oh, here. Thank you very it's much. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> very glad yeah. to hear about that from you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and thank we you. will see you on our next visit. Yeah, we hope we will see you near in the future. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Very soon. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. To get us started in our adventures of Denang, we're going to go first to a place called Marble Mountain. And we're happy to have you along. Let's go check this place out. There's lots of way to get around Denon. You can take a grab, you can rent a motor scooter. Take a taxi. We like to walk. And the reason we like to walk is one, we're trying to lose a little bit of weight. And we get to see a whole lot more of the city if we're walking. But the most important reason is when we walk, we burn calories, which means we get to eat all the food we want. Benefits of walking around, we happen across another public beach access we didn't know about. We're gonna take a real quick look at that. And since we're walking, it's not gonna to add to taxi fares or gas prices or anything like that. We just turn left, go check it out and keep going on our way. We're also gonna be able to show you. This particular beach access runs in between two resorts and they have these cars that run in between the resorts, just like this one, that take their guests back and forth like that one. Today's a pretty warm day, so we wanted to get started early. Uh, I think it's gonna be up until the 90s. Workout equipment is available, and just across the way, underneath this really cute pavilion, public restroom access. Let's take a quick look to see what this public toilet looks like. They are locked right now, but I'm sure they're great. This is the resort that's right next to the same beach access that is free for everybody else. That's pretty awesome. We came to Marble Mountain and it looks pretty fantastic. So we're gonna have to show you a little bit of that. We're not really sure exactly what's going on with it uh, or why it's popular, but it is definitely popular. Let's show you what this place looks like. That is Marble Mountain right there. We have the entrance over here you got to get tickets to it first lots of people to get through in order to get here and lots of vendors a lot of them are selling marble for some reason <laughs> this is actually going to be in a couple of different languages makes it easier for everybody to come and we definitely like going to places that are inclusive exactly know what we're doing oh, we're kind of the flow yeah look there's a crowd they're going this way we're doing that too and it's kind of a fun adventure but we're going through the mountain right now yeah it looks like it was dug out a little bit but it's got steps and it's very echoey so i don't even know if any of this audio is usable but we'll try We are inside Marble Mountain. This place is absolutely incredible. We're just gonna take some footage and show you. We're also gonna put up on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook a couple of pictures that we have. So take a look at those as well. Making friends all over the world. Xin chào. These steps are slippery because they're wet. The reason they're wet is because we're underground where water seeps through the stone. We were dropped off right there, walked over to here and went in. This is tourist parking. We got buses, cars, stuff like that. Normally you would get a ticket to come up. Today, for some reason, it's free. We just found out that in order to get into the temple part, it's free. Today. Today. To get on the elevator, on the other hand, that's going to cost, and we're about to find out how much that is. Elevator ticket is 15000 one way. This is what the tickets look like to get on the elevator. We're waiting for 
for our turn to get on this elevator. There's a reason we're waiting in line. It's actually kind of busy. They keep telling us that this is a one-way one ticket. ticket. <laughs> so we don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if we we're supposed there. to buy two for each of us, one way up, one way down, or if we're just going to be taking a parachute. Zip line or stairs or we'll find out. We'll tell you. Oh, yeah, we'll we're gonna find out. It. It's part of the adventures, right? That's a much better view. And when you're up here, it's gonna cost the same amount to get back down. We cut a lot of the sound from this section of the video because of the religious sounds that were happening in the background. We didn't want to violate their religious beliefs and we didn't want to overwhelm you with a lot of unnecessary audio. That's the way down. Look how cute that couple is. They have matching shirts. I think Cindy and I need to have matching shirts. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. I don't know if I would want to do matching Hawaiian shirts though, but maybe, maybe we need a sponsor. Oh yeah, we, I would love it if Hawaii would sponsor us, then they can give us Hawaiian shirts. I'm down with that. A sponsor is well, a place. That would definitely pay for our trip to Hawaii. We need Hawaii to pay for our trip there so that we can add that as our 47th state. Yeah, I'm done with that. Put the word out. That's what we need. That's what the steps look like from the bottom of the hill. And I'm going to be honest. To be honest with you, this stuff right here is absolutely gorgeous. We wanted to get some. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to put it in our bags. And this lady is a sweetheart. So if you happen to be here, we recommend it. This is gate number one. There is no elevator to the top of this one, so I think we're gonna have to walk. The map makes a lot more sense now. That's the climb we're making right now. What we've discovered by looking at this map is that's the elevator. It comes up over that way, and then we came down gate two. But apparently, it's all connected. There's a lot more. Up caves, pagodas, waterfalls, so much more to see. Top of gate number one. What we didn't know before is this pathway right here goes up and around and there's a lot more to see. And this is right here at the pagoda and there's a cave back here and the temple here. This place is pretty massive. Elevators are right there. So when you come through here, there's a lot more to see. Climb the steps here and keep on going. Probably the best view on the mountain. That is an excellent view. Lots of steps up here. Elevator doesn't take you to the top. It just takes you to a large portion of the top. Be prepared for more steps. We are finding that all the caves have some sort of religious significance. They've got statues of Buddha, incense burning, very interesting. The views from the top are amazing, so they're definitely worth exploring for yourselves. Just keep in mind, there's only so much that you can get through without having to climb some stairs. I said earlier that that was an awesome view. It must be the best. I was not right. This is one of the most epic views we've seen in a long time. After that, we are spent. Y'all, we are just ready for a rest. We are covered in sweat. It's about noon right now, so there's a lot more to see. It's been a lot of fun up here. We're just gonna enjoy the rest of it. You can easily spend four hours up here without even seeing everything. So we're just gonna relax a little bit, drink some water, go back, get some rest. And head out in a little while to show you more of the night. The next place we're going to visit is on the other side of the river, and then after that, we're going to go get some dinner. 
our next visit is going to be someplace that's a little less known and you're going to be one of the few people to know about it. This is called Fresco Village. Village. So what you will find as you pass through the entrance are murals on every one of these walls. Check this out. You can't turn around without seeing another one. Wow, these flowers right here. Beautiful, right? Since we are walking through a neighborhood, all of these murals are on houses. Make sure that you're respecting the privacy of the residents as you're walking through. There's murals everywhere around here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's time to go get some food. We love Bonet. Have never had it for dinner, so we're going to see what it looks like. And it's right over here. This restaurant looks adorable. Very clean and well kept. I love these little tables. It's like you're sitting in a stadium about to watch a movie. Or you can sit back on a hammock and sip a coffee. I really like this wall. That's the entrance. That was a good place. Really delicious, affordable, and it's really close to where we're at right now. So we kind of like that spot. We'll go there again, for sure. We're gonna start right here at the Sea Phoenix Hotel. The Sea Phoenix is in a great location. If you cross this street and go down that way, you're gonna get to the beach. This is a resort over here, so don't go that way. Come over to this side of it, and you can either drive or walk. There are several resorts along the beach that will give you access to the beach and to the water. For those who are in a hotel that's more inland or you're landbound, they do have public beach access points so you can get to the beach as well. And it's a beautiful beach so it's worth a little bit of effort to get to it. And it's free. That's right, Da Nang has letters. And you know we love having letters in our videos. It is real easy to see why people love Da Nang so much. Da Nang does have a lot of beaches. Now it's time to leave the beach area and head into town to see some more of Da Nang. Running through the middle of Da Nang is the Han River. What makes it so special is this bridge right here. That is a dragon bridge.
The Dragon Bridge is going to be the easiest landmark in Da Nang to recognize. The interesting part about this Dragon Bridge is that at night, twice a week, it literally does breathe fire. And if you follow this road even further, you get to the beach. If you're not interested in going to the beach, that's okay. There's plenty of stuff to do along the river. Walking down the street looking for the night market, which opens up in just a little bit. It opens up at five. We saw this gentleman and decided we wanted to stop and get some food before we went and explored the night market. And I think it's a good idea. You gotta fuel up before you have fun, right? So we got the fried rice with chicken and then spicy chicken wings. Yes. It's time to dig in. Fried rice with chicken and then the chicken wings are actually really good, right? Really delicious, yes. Now we're going to enter the market. We came in on a side street. This is the night market. In order to get here, all you gotta do is find the Dragon Bridge and you're there, basically. In addition to having a lot of food options, They have fun and games for the kids. Look, if you see a prize in 10 seconds, you know I won. If not, <laughs> I think I need one of those hats. That is the night market. It's small, simple, but they cover a lot of ground. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now our plan is to go and see Dragon Spin some fire, but it's more than just fire. If you happen to be at the night market on a Saturday night or a Sunday night and decide to stick around until nine o'clock, this is what you're gonna run into. This place is definitely packed. We tried to get ourselves into a really good position to see the dragon breathe fire. I think this is a good spot. It's really pretty at night, so whatever nights are here, it's definitely something worth looking at. This dragon also spits water. And then it's a mass exodus. Everybody wants to leave all at the same time. And just in case you wondered what the nightlife looked like here, everybody's out driving around, 
Stop in places to get some coffee and food and games and everybody's just having a good time. For watching we appreciate each and every one of you and stay tuned as we continue to travel around vietnam and the rest of the world we got to yeah we got to have <laughs> we have to have <laughs> if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure and as always, squeeze the day and be well.